Hello, hello, hello. It is I, Alex Dalliance. Welcome to Scum Night. It is Wednesday at 9, which is when we do Scum Night. How's everybody doing this evening? We got Nelly here. We got Ryan here. How you guys been? Uh, it's so good to see you guys. So, the deal for tonight is we are going to be playing some horror games, and we're going to be playing some N64-inspired horror games. So the first game, I think it's called Babo Adventure on Gerald Island or something like that, and it's definitely inspired pretty heavily by Super Mario 64 and like a little bit of Banjo-Kazooie. In the second game, Earl's Day Off is like kind of like a Sega base or bass fishing game, uh, but with horror. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see the, um, the, the twist in both of these games because I started watching um, the game Bobo Adventure on Gerald Island on Manly Badass Heroes channel and like a couple of minutes in I was like I love this I, I gotta play it so I didn't spoil myself at all I just wanted to get get started it looked great though so and I, I love this style of indie horror game that's like super retro I don't know why but just for me it's like so fucking awesome so on the topic of alcohol tonight I'm really excited as well to be drinking this Southern Tier Warlock, which is an Imperial Pumpkin Stout. I don't think I've ever had a beer like this, and you already know that I'm gonna be drinking a brand new pumpkin beer every stream, every week, all the way through October, uh, you know, trying out stuff I've never had. And uh, yeah, Southern Tier makes Pumpkin, which is like probably one of the best of the pumpkin beers out there. Uh, so to try an Imperial Pumpkin Stout, it's like pumpkin and Imperial Stout, two of my favorite things. So I'm really excited to get going with that. So without further ado, you guys, I love you very much and cheers to you for hanging out with me on this Wednesday night. Fuck yes. Oh my God, I love this beer. So, what's the ABV on this thing? First thing I got is the 8.6 alcohol. I didn't realize, I knew it would be strong, but you definitely get the hit of the alcohol up front and then you get a little bit of stouty bitterness, a little malty roasty thing. But um, it's uh, where it shines is at first, I had this like first couple of seconds in the mouth, I was like, no, not again. Not another uh, Swamp Brewing Pumpkin Spice Latte beer where it says pumpkin on the on the label, pumpkin spice on the label. You take a sip and you're like, ah, you don't even really taste anything. Man, does this come through with the pumpkin spice and the aftertaste. It's like the, the beginning and the middle, all Imperial Stout. Little less crazy than Old Rasputin, let's say. And then it just, oh, it's like a pumpkin muffin just creamed in my mouth. It is so fucking good, you guys. I love this beer. Yes, Ryan, it is fucking worth it. It's a limited edition beer, so you should gotta go grab it now. I'm so happy I just kind of came across it uh, when I was shopping. And um, yeah, just, I mean, yeah. Southern Tier makes some of the best beers in the world. There's a reason they're one of the biggest. And um, yeah, it's just out of this world. Totally awesome. Fucking love it. Oh, oh, I love it so much. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about, you guys, really excited for this. Um, we have finally some new Vulture Culture merch. And I laid off on making new t-shirt designs for a bit because I felt like I was kind of like doing too many and people were like laughing at the pictures I would post of it, but my sales went down pretty dramatically, which I think is fine. I mean, it's, it's, I think a part of it is people like buying the t-shirts, not just because they want the shirt, but also because they want to support me, but like they can't buy every shirt that I come out with. So I've been, I slowed down on the t-shirt production for a bit, but I was really excited to come out with this new one that says, we'll do bad things for pumpkin spice. So the link is in the description. Uh, it should be, or I thought I, oh, wait, wait, no, I didn't press the thing. I put it, I, I was searching emojis, not dropping the link in the chat. So I just, um, the stream elements bot should bring up the link. 
and it should be in the description of this video as well if you're watching this not live and the will do bad things for pumpkin spice shirt is now live on the store i'm going to make an official announcement uh later but i want you guys who watch this video and hang out with me every Wednesday to get first dibs on these. So for the longest time, I've been doing black shirts, but I decided to do a white shirt. And so that's really exciting. But what's even more exciting than that, hello Nikki, I love you, is we now have ladies shirts for the first time. And yes, they're in different colors. I picked green just for the example of this shirt, but there's pink and orange and purple, uh, and I think we have a gray. You, you have to click on the link to actually see all the different colors that we have for the men's shirts, the ladies shirts, and finally, fuck yes, the racer back tanks are now available too. This as well comes in a variety of colors. And so I'm really excited to finally have a little bit more variety as far as instead of just selling. I love these super soft black t-shirts that I wear. They're amazing. All I love that I can make t-shirts that I enjoy. Um, but now we have a lot of options for people who don't wear just black t-shirts all day, every day like I do. And so we have these really cool, we'll do bad things for pumpkin spice uh, shirts that are available now, $25. Um, most of the uh, cost of it actually goes into making the shirt, not my uh, sales. And anytime you buy a shirt or leave a donation, a tip, it's greatly appreciated. But more than that, it just helps me keep doing this channel. So I always appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, the link is in the motherfucker. The tank is real. Yes, we finally have um, the Racerbacks as well as ladies shirts. Jackalee, hello, how are you doing? Um, and so I'm really excited about that and yeah, so you guys get access to these shirts first because you hang out with me every week and hang out on scum night and I wanted to make sure that you guys uh, get a little bit of a perk for doing that. So uh, they're up on the store right now. I'll make an announcement, you know, in a few days or something like that. But for now, you guys get first access so that you guys, if you order the shirts now, you'll get them before everybody else. And I just, you know, as a thank you to you guys, I wanted to do that. Um, how are you doing, Jackie? I miss you. And by the way, Jackie, we're drinking tonight the Southern Tier Warlock, which is a pumpkin spice imperial stout, which is two of my absolute favorite things mashed together. And it's as good, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> like, it's, it's as good as the promise on the bottle. I love it so much. Um, so I'm really excited about this, that we have the new We'll Do Bad Things for Pumpkin Spice uh, shirts. It's out of this world, Jackie. I love it. And yeah, so I don't want to spend too much more time uh, fucking around. I feel like it wouldn't be a bad thing if uh, we got going here. So let's uh, power on into the darkness here, hopefully. Do, 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 do. Here we go. And... Uh, we can bring this down. So what's interesting is this game uh, is actually part of several games. And um, so you get this bundle for like 10 bucks. Oh, I should have definitely put the link in the description. I'll have to go back and edit that. Um, but we are... Whoop, let's get that all the way off. There we are. Um, so we are playing Bubbo Adventure on Gerald Island. And it is very Super Mario 64. I love it. Hey there, Bubbo. I'm Noter, the friendly signpost. I give you all the tips and tricks, so... Well, don't tell the animals this, but you're in a video game. And it's my job to help you play this game really well. Enough about me, though. First, I'll tell you about how to jump. For a small jump, tap the jump button. For a big jump, hold it down. Try it out. You have to jump out of this boat at some point. All right, so what's the jump button? There we go. So you can do a small one or a big one. Let's see. Jump up here. Ah! What? <laughs> kind of wonderfully floaty. Ah! No! <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. I love that the, uh, the coins are little... little sprites. Very authentic to the style. Ah. 
Oh, I've got a pumpkin ale in the uh, in the fridge right now. Hmm. You ever find text hard to read like this or this? Do I need to knock my air conditioning down? I always forget. You can disable text effects in the options menu. Okay, so let's uh, get some coins here. Ooh. I love that this is going to end up being a horror game. <laughs> I don't know how, but it just seems so innocent. Nice. Hey, look, there's a mongoose. Otto, it's an otter. <laughs> hey, you must be Bubbo, our new delivery friend. Welcome to Gerald's Island, pal. Now there's been an unfortunate mix up with the payment. We were so excited to meet you. <laughs> Uh, and so we were jumping and spinning and running around on drugs and all the coins went everywhere. And then we had no time to tidy up our big mess. Would you mind gathering up the coins while I check out our order is all right, all the cocaine is there? It should be about 150 bucks worth of cocaine. But you can keep any extra. I know you'll be a pro at this. See you soon, pal. Okay, so we, I guess we have to collect 150 coins. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> I don't know what Bubbo is. He's sort of like cotton candy or I don't know. Kind of kind of reminds me of uh, a certain emoji, a purple version. They got to be methy. Well, if you ever want to move fast, you should try holding down the sprint button while moving, which is shift. Okay, I've already been doing that. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's nice that there's no damage. Like, you know, in Super Mario 64, if you fall far enough, you'd... Ooh, we got some little... Got some shoe? What do we got in there? Little guy in there, maybe? <laughs> I love this very much. Ah! Yeah. Do do do. <laughs> this is cute. I feel like my microphone's really loud. Um, but let's see if we go into the options here. And turn the... Music up a little, right? Fuck it, right? Oh, let's see what it is. I wonder if when you turn the text off, all of their niceness gets turned off as well. Everyone's definitely got big golden retriever energy right now. We'll try it, I guess. Maybe we'll turn this down just a little. And, uh, text effects. We can turn that off. Hmm. There's something so satisfying about collecting coins in any game. I love the, you know, like even the trees are very Super Mario 64-esque. Hey, there's a rat back here. What's up, bro? You must be Bubbo. Nice to meet you, friendo. Feel like he's still got Golden Retriever vibes. Oof. Camera's a little wonky. Yeah. But I guess it was in Super Mario 64, too. Uh. So what's new with you guys? I kind of jumped into everything tonight because I knew I had to talk about the t-shirts and the Warlock beer. So why don't you guys tell me what's new with going on in your life? Bun. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. Ah, it's Bubbo. We're all just happy to see someone like you visit. Have anything else to say? I guess not. Hmm. Welcome to our sweet little town. Jeldon was established a thousand years ago. Long before even that, the Keepers lived here on the island. Wow, isn't that interesting? A little spooky. Ooh, how do we get up there? Hmm. Hey, hey, what's up, Greg? Welcome to the stream. Yes, and of course I should always sell out too. If you haven't yet, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And one of the best things you can do to actually help is to share this video on your social media. Uh, Facebook and Instagram auto-down-regulate any post that leads you off of the site. They want you to stay on Instagram for the ads and everything like that. Ah, maybe this is it. Yeah, here we go. Um, so it's very difficult for me to promote these streams. 
And so one of the best things you guys can do is actually just send it to your friends like, hey, we're doing this tonight. Check this out, sort of a thing. So direct messages are probably the best, but even just sharing on your page, I appreciate any promotion you guys do. Um, and I see you guys promoting. I don't always get a chance to thank you guys every time, the people who do share, but especially uh, Ryan's always the first, it seems like. And uh, more than anything, just anybody who helps out, I, you know, I appreciate it. The next jump here is a bit far. Even if you need to jump further, you can jump while running. I like the... Uh... All right, this is a little... I like that they're getting me over. Yo, what's up, Gaetano? How's it going, scum daddy? Mmm. It's a plague game. Oh, you passed both of your classes? Sorry, I actually wasn't looking at chat. Um, that's so awesome, Nikki. Congratulations. Fuck yeah, bitch. I love that. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Oh. How are you doing, Greg? What's new? Just chilling. John and I are chilling in the studio. Awesome. I love that. We'll say hi to John for me as well. Inga. Is that, is that my aunt Inga? Is that you? <laughs> Hello. If it is. Hey, hey, Tiffany, you're here. How's it going? What? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Where was that little... I can jump up. Oh my god, Inga, how are you doing? What's new? Funny to, that you're here. Oh, too cute. My Aunt Inga is my favorite aunt. Favorite Dutch lady. <laughs> Just got back from the library. Who was bartending tonight? Bear Bear? Chilling with RJ. Oh, awesome. I was working out with RJ earlier. We uh, we had a pretty brutal one today. Yeah. It's one of the rare times where I've had to tap out. Yes. <laughs> I love my mother very much as well. Some of you all have gotten the chance to meet her. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Inga, I profanitize a lot on this yeah. channel, so you're about to... <laughs> Here's some things. What? Not that you're, uh, oh, sugar. What? Not that you're, uh, not aware of all of that. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What? Mm. Is this harder than you'd think? So, this is a, actually a horror game disguised as a cute game. I don't know where it gets horror-y, but there will be scariness later as it goes on. Oh, my mom's there too! Oh, that makes sense. Well, hello, mother. How are you? Yeah. Missed one here. Alright, well, I will do my best yeah. to not censor myself, but it's a little difficult. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can get over there. Yeah. Nope. That's pretty well. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see, I feel like I got 150 coins or whatever, so maybe we can go back to, uh... That... The otter? Mm hmm Whoopsie-daisy. Oh. Oh, hey there, Bubbo. I'm sorry to say that, uh, I was playing about in the water and... Well, just the worst thing happened. I hit your boat and the propeller broke, and I'm so, 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 so sorry. Wow. It'll be okay, though. We can fix it. I sent pieces off with the animals. I think Ritz the rat has the first part. Gotta talk to Ritz and see what's up. I'm just so sorry. <laughs> Little bastard. Um, That's a great question. I really should have put that in the description of the video. I know that I'll go back and drop it in the... Uh, the... Um, in the description after the stream. Ah, now the rat wants to talk. You want to get your propeller back? Well, I have, I have one of the propeller blades. I'll give it to you if you do a little job for me. 
see we have a little bit of a vermin problem down in the sewers. <laughs> you can deal with 12 rats down there. I'll give you the propeller blade. Just bring me back 12 rat skulls. This is very odd that the rat <laughs> wants me to bring back rat skulls. What kind of a microphone is it, Greg? Hey, how's it going, Neil? Um, seen Bowser yet? Yeah, no, it definitely has that vibe. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You guys are so su so sweet. Okay, so maybe we can get into the down over here now. Yeah. Well, that's not how we get into the sewers. Yeah. God damn it! Yeah. Yeah. Music is so authentic too, you know. Oh, you just drop in here. I'm so silly. There we are. Hey, more money. Cool. Hey, a rat. How do I... <laughs> was that blood or what was it that it? <laughs> it you know the vibes of this are actually kind of like Yoshi story. That's what it reminds me of. Even though the, that game was like 2D or 2D ish. Oh, you can't jump in the water. Water gets you. Red valve over there, if you stand on it, it'll spin. When a valve like that spins well, something has to happen somewhere. Watch out for gates that might open or platforms that could start moving. Ah, cool. I can hear another rat somewhere. Oh, you're up there. Uh, I believe he is having me kill his family, Ryan. Roswell Audio Mini K87 with the high sensitivity modification. K87, is that like a U87-esque microphone? <laughs> Button for violence? Yeah, you just jump on it. How's it going, Mighty Pinto? How are you doing, my friend? This- Whoa! Okay, I wonder what that did. We, we do have a platform here, though, that's moving now. Maybe it just did that. I don't know. Eek. Is anybody else, like, slightly unnerved? Like, these rats are very cute. They're making the cutest sound. I feel bad executing them. Oh, maybe I was supposed to jump up there. Use him to jump up. Oh, there's another one. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. I just noticed that in the upper left-hand corner, there's a, there's a rat... Rat skull counter. Morbid. Oh, this opened up. So, Mom and Inga, are you guys in Tennessee or in Georgia right now? Button for violence. Oh. Uh, satanic pinball stream. Oh, that sounds awesome. I think you were saying that that's like your main game you... Or a game you play? I've never actually uh, played it, which is kind of crazy because that's like all my favorite things. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I am getting seasick. Sorry, Nikki. I know you're sensitive. Yeah. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I hate the sound he makes, like the super sad sound. Oh, come on. I guess I hit the ceiling. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank God this isn't like counting against me. Uh, this, it's just humiliating for you guys to have to watch this. But I guess yeah. that's always how this channel's been. Oh my gosh. I know it seems like it's not hard, but the depth perception with how the camera is is super weird. Oh, you can back jump, I think. Wonder if you can BLJ like it. Uh, okay, cool. I don't think I can fuck this up now. Well, never say... Uh, nice collision. I'm definitely on this. <laughs> it's just a camera. Amra's so... 
Blonky. I will- I'm just trying to get to this rat. I don't even know if I need to- there we go. I was just convinced that- uh, I had to- there we go. Okay, I'm great at this game now. <laughs> ah, okay. Neat! <laughs> well, it's nice that you guys are able to stream me over there. Um... Fuck those, just like, fuck seagulls, shakes my damn head. Literally me and Mitchie went to the beach and chased a seagull for a literal mile because it had a sea turtle in its mouth. Oh my god, that's so morbid. Were you able to succeed in getting the turtle out? Um... Okay, yeah, just, uh... Yeah, just respond at the stoplights. Safety first, of course. Yeah. By the way, how are you doing, Annie? Got a lot of people here tonight. Yeah. Okay, I want to talk to the frog before I uh, jump off here. Frogbird! Hello there, my name's Frogbird. I love to hop. However, there's something even better. Better than hopping. It's bouncing. You can bounce on these pretty flowers if you fall from a height onto them. You'll bounce back up just as high. Ah, okay. So if I... Wow! Woof. It's kind of... Kind of awesome. I'm amazed that people can like make these games in their spare time. Like I do the choose your own adventures, but those are so simple compared to this. Like in terms of like, there's no graphics at all. Ever feel like you're out of control when you're flying in the air? Well, if you need an extra reach, you can start holding the sprint button in the middle of a jump to go further. If you let go of the sprint button in the middle of a jump, you can quickly slow back down. Letting go of movement entirely should bring you to a stop pretty quickly too. Why, with the right combination of input, you can make any jump. <laughs> mm. Hey, Mickey, how's it going? Let's see, I'm amazed at how many mechanics have been built into this fan game. Yeah, it's pretty pretty deep for just, just uh, a game. Deep eye contact. Oh no, it swallowed the baby sea turtle. <laughs> This is the worst story, Nikki. I'm sorry for your trauma. I wish I could give you a hug. That's terrible. Also, I'm safe at Ryan, so I'm not driving anymore. Okay. Well, safe is relative when in that sentence, but I understand what you're saying. Um, yes, I'm, I'm really excited to see the creepy part come in, because right now it's just like saccharine sweet. Um, oh, God, I think we're all like fucking hurting, though, for the baby sea turtle. How are you doing, Mickey? Ao, O A I A, E, Ahem A O, L M F A O, Ahem A O. That's my name. Sorry, sometimes I get so high I get caught up in the monkeying around. I I didn't mean to be rude. Anyway, you're Bubbo, right? I have a piece of your propeller. You just need to get me some shit. I need twelve tangle seeds. You can get them from the tangle fruit that grows on the trees in this forest. Just hop onto one of the fruits that. And then it will fall and a seed will pop out when it hits the ground. You should knock all of the fruit down before you collect the seeds. Okay, so we can see the fruit. Um, Alright, so this seems relatively straightforward. Have we missed anything? Yeah. Can I get up here? And Oh. I wonder if the money does anything. I'm beginning to wonder if the money's here just to <laughs> waste your time. <laughs> I feel like I could get up to the top of the tree without even doing anything. I wonder if... Okay, so if I hit this... Huh. Nothing happened. Oh, let's see. There's one game called Aversion where you travel through parallel dimensions. It starts out cute and cuddly, but the world gets more horrifying the more you teleport. Oh, that sounds right up my alley. I have to look into that. Uh... I have more than enough weapons on hand to keep her safe. <laughs> um, waiting for the dark... You just went on a rat rampage. Well, that's true. That was definitely the first, uh, the first sign. Good. Just pause clickbait to watch this. <laughs> you know, I have zero idea what's going on. Don't worry. The rest of us don't really know what's going on either. The money's there to pay Sharon when you reach the river Styx. Money is a human construct. <laughs> sorry for being a bummer, guys. No, Nikki, don't, don't ever have to be sorry about the, the real shit of life. Life is, life is suffering, so just, you know, 
we're all about that here. Okay. So I'm wondering... Can I... What do I do to knock this down? Woof. Was not the move. Okay, let's see if I can... <laughs> I don't... Did it, did it say what I'm... Oh, there we go. You gotta kind of land on the stem. We got the seed. Cool. Hmm. I wonder if I can just jump on the seed from here. I can. There's a lot to this game. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of this game that isn't even the whole... Oh, I am dumb. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Let's just do one of these. Yeah. Cheating. Cheating is great. Oh. Woof. This camera, though. <laughs> is that stuck in the air? Oh. Are you a poop head? I don't know, Emily. Am I a poop head? How the fuck are you doing, bitch? <laughs> uh, are you at Harry's watching this right now? <laughs> I miss you, Emily. What's new? Oh, okay. All right. I guess I need to go back and collect those seeds. That would be smart. I got kind of sidetracked. <laughs> this game is so ridiculous. Ah! Okay. I love how that, like, waha sound effect is, like, pretty Mario-esque. Oh, you know what? It just occurred to me that you weren't really calling me a poop head, Emily. You were calling... Babo a poop head, and yes, he does kind of resemble uh, purple poop. I don't know if there's some deeper meaning to that, or if it's just uh, hey, there's something somebody over here. Let's go say hi to you, Emily. Everybody loves Emily. Hopefully, I have Emily on the stream at some point. Mm. I'm drinking tonight this. Uh, Southern Tier Warlock Imperial Pumpkin Stout. Emily, this is... This fulfills my white girl soul. This is some good shit right here. Oh. Uh, woof. <laughs> I have a secret. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you my secret. It's that I have one of your propeller blades. But you can't have it yet, though. Go get the other two first. <laughs> Once you have the other propeller blades, I'll have a special challenge just for you. Okay. So we gotta get the seeds, and then... Oh, you know what I, What just occurred to me is that we still don't have 12 rat skulls, which makes me think that there must be something I missed in the swamp over there, maybe. All right. Oh, God, this camera is so wonky. Um... Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Purple poop. It's a good sign. Bitch, Nikki. <laughs> Ryan's in the chat. Um. All right. Uh. Yeah. I'm trying to keep this fast paced, guys. It, it's harder than you'd think. Like the yeah. wonkiness of the camera is exceptionally wonk. Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, and it seems like there's only really like one way to get up there, which is by that one creepy guy. It's a, it's a, <laughs> like just shit like this. Buddy, hey there, Bubbo. My name's Buddy. Gerald's excited to meet you. I didn't know there was actually a Gerald on Gerald's Island. Why just, uh, because he must have been here for a thousand years that they named the island after him. The ancients must not rise again. But well, that's the most overjoyed I've seen him in a long time. <laughs> a little Lovecraftian. Uh, 
Yes. Well, you already picked the game. You said we need to play Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, if I had fallen in the water. Because I think the water resets you to, like, where you were last. I actually would have been better off. Okay, let's see if we can get it back up here. look I don't think I'm gonna worry about the, the coins as much anymore I just feel like they're there just to kind of be there but they're not I thought maybe we'd have to at some point collect every coin or something like that oh come on <laughs> oh sugar what a what a silly silly creature um, next week I have not decided anything. Are you off on Wednesdays? Is that a thing, Emily? You guys, okay. I see. <laughs> I'm getting slightly better, I think. Shit! <laughs> oh my god, this game! <sighs> okay, let the rage come over you. Accept the feelings as they come. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no! <laughs> I don't think I've ever really had a rage stream before. This is something else. I'm glad this could be your first stream to watch of me, Inga. On Inga. Get up there, you little stupid. Okay, so I'm supposed to go this way. There's two things at play here. One is the game is genuinely wonky. And then the second thing is, is that I'm terrible. Get up. Like doing this type of thing is just the worst. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Oh, I guess it. Man, this stream has gone a completely different way than I thought it would. I thought we were going to be playing, like, a horror game and things would be jumping out at me. That's my comfort zone, you know? Like, being manly in the face of fear. Um, this is something else. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I love it, though. I mean, it, it's a lot of fun. I Hopefully, hopefully it's not too, uh... I don't know what the word is. Let the hate flow through you. Yeah, the salt is real right now. I can confirm that. Okay. Let's try this again. Woof. It, it's like, you, you kind of don't know which jump you're going to get when you jump. That's the only way I can describe it, is like... Now, did that guy say I needed 12? I know I need 12 rat skulls, or did he say all of the seeds? You guys remember? Yeah. <sighs> what the hell is this? Hmm, I wonder if that'll be explained later. Okay. Kind of seems like this might be one of the last ones over here, so let's see if I can make a yeah. good jump. Uh, 
the camera though. <laughs> oh my god. I I'm glad you're enjoying this. Uh mm. I mean, this game feels like a very janky version of Super Mario 64, which was already a little janky. It's been time for Baby Girl. All right, we'll see you, see you soon, Emmy. Emily. Oh, shucks. Buddy. You can do it, Bobo. Yeah. Come on. Okay. I cannot I cannot express to you guys like how many emotions I'm feeling. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be like a challenge of of um emotional fortitude tonight. I don't know what I was expecting, but not th not this exactly. <laughs> Okay. I think I'm. S I gotta be close to 12. 12. Okay, because there's one over here. 11. And then I feel like I probably just got one earlier and I just don't know where, where it is. See if we can. Aha! Cool. Let's go talk to that guy. And then I guess we gotta go hunt rat skulls. Brought my tinkle seeds. Thank you so much! You can find that propeller blade on top of my hut. It wasn't always there, was it? Hey, look, there's like additional tangle seeds that you can get. Oh, no, I don't think it was always there. Yay! Okay guys, I'm gonna go back into the sewer here because I think I missed some rat skulls and then maybe I can go. Oh, I like how the music changes, but dynamically like that. Like you get the slap bass that comes in. The cheesy like, oh yeah, there's definitely still some, some guys making noise around here. I didn't even notice this. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> They're making so many cute noises. Uh. Yeah, the, the, I mean, maybe it's not a horror game in the traditional sense, it's just the game drives you slowly crazy with insane platforming. Alright, well that was very simple to get the remaining skulls, and now I should be able to run over to Ritz the Rat and get that propeller blade. And then I think, I think that's it. I think because there's the three, you guys can't see, um... But there's a propeller blade right behind my face, and there's three slots in it. And so I think we should be able to go talk to the other guy now. Oh boy, oh boy, it's the rat skulls. Thank you so much, Bubble. You're a champ. Oh yeah, the propeller. I put the blade up in the tower on the town hall for you. <laughs> By the way, guys, let me know what you think about this stream as, a pair, as opposed... Let me see if I can use words. Uh, as opposed to the usual streams that I do, um, you know, with Skyward Sword, or just, like, more long-form games. For some reason, I have kind of avoided one-shotty type games, um, for no good reason. And, um, <laughs> and I, uh, I would like to know what your thoughts are. <sighs> um, I really love sort of these like this new wave of indie horror games that are all like kind of low res and they're not like super crazy although this game has like a crazy amount of effort that went into it considering you know like when you think about the fact that like i don't know when super mario 64 came out please thank you christ um there were you know, to make a game this complicated took an entire team of Nintendo people. And I feel like this game, I think this game was made by like one person, you know? Like, how crazy is that? All right, let's see if this will let us back into the woods quickly. And we can talk to 
Do you remember where the other guy was? I thought he was like over here. Yeah. Mmm. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Okay, so now I can give you my special challenge. Ehehehehehe. <laughs> so this forest is protected by a spirit called Cathiral. To continue past the forest, you must prove yourself. In Cathiral's challenge, it will try to put you off balance as you make a treacherous journey. <laughs> Motherfuck. You must make your way to a platform high in the trees. There you'll find an amulet. This is Cathiral's sigil. It symbolizes that you are worthy to pass beyond the forest. When you're ready for the challenge, come talk for me. Void ought fleshmet evorp met tell devira sa ekfircus herserfa reservaro DNA resortorp kithiro ho. All right, that's uh <laughs> the many-eyed floating deer. I guess I'm beginning to see how this will happen. So what's the idea here? We have to. I can't even. Oh wait, did I already fail it? I think I already failed it. <laughs> there we go. You just gotta summon this uh, evil, many-eyed forest deer spirit. Can you guys see that? Fucking creepy. And then if I don't die, <laughs> who guessed cult? <laughs> All right, so let's see. I guess he's gonna. F oh, I see. He starts. Fucking with you. Alright, so I gotta move fast, I think, because he's... Juicing me. Okay, this was definitely the wrong way to go. Which I should have known already, but... Oh! I can't believe I survived that. Okay... Fuck you, Alex Dalliance! <laughs> I'm gonna jump scare anybody. <laughs> okay. yeah. Get up there. Don't fail me now. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of ahead of him. What? Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah. I'm supposed to go high up in the trees. Wonder how to do that. focused. <laughs> I'm sorry, I try to talk normally when I'm doing this, but it's 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 pretty uh, hair-raising. Luckily, if you r bump into him, it doesn't seem like it causes you to fall down. Okay, let's... Can I hide from you for a second? What's over there? You guys see that? You think that's the amulet? Something's in the tree over here. How do I get over there? jump scares yeah. um okay guys do you see maybe i'm supposed to go up this way i wonder how i get up there oh my god this this is a little bit more okay so what is happening Yeah, when these were the absolute tits. How's it going, George? I am uh, suffering greatly. How are you? You get a lot of control in the air when you're jumping, which is really nice for a game like this because... You can kind of like... Ah, maybe this is the amulet? Is that the amulet? Oh, please don't die. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus Christus. Yeah. Well done. You fruit. Can't talk from the stress. You flew through those branches. You are truly worthy. The last propeller blade is on the tallest stone in the circle. Hop up and get it. Okay, that's not too bad.
Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, just get the Cheeto. Get the Dorito, there we go. Looks like you got the last blade. Now you just need the propel propeller core. Make your way to the top of that rocky cliff at the end of the forest. From there, you'll be able to see the tower. You just need to head into the tower and I promise you'll get the propeller back. I promise. <laughs> okay. Sure, nothing will go wrong. Yeah, famous last words. This game is harder than you'd think. Ah, we got a little thing that helps us get across now. Perv! What? I apologize. What? Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna. F <laughs> I don't think. I don't think any games maybe make so many growling noises as this one. <laughs> I was not expecting this set of emotions. I was expecting fear. I was expecting um, anxiety. I was expecting a lot of the stuff that I remember from Dead Space and Isolation. This is... <sighs> Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, okay. Just slow down for a second. Observe. Yes! Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, this isn't... <laughs> oh, cool. It's like a whole new area. Cheers, guys. I need a second to breathe. <laughs> mm. Yes, it's uh, pretty good. I wonder what it looks like. I love the fog of war. I always thought the fog of war effect, which is where like things kind of gray out as they get further away so it can hide the low res poly textures is um, I thought one of the most beautiful effects in Ocarina of Time. I know it was in other games. Wow. Yeah. But when you think about uh, Ocarina of Time and the way that game, like just the intro with the piano and Link riding the horse across Hyrule in the morning, it's just so fucking beautiful. I still feel, it's so funny because even though it's really, by today's standards, like terrible graphics, I still feel that's like the most beautiful part of any game. Whoa. I wonder if it actually, whoa. Whoa. Wonder if it actually needed to load. The ritual must commence, the skulls must crack, the seeds must sprout. The ritual must commence. Economic tum latir et flusoroi esafiris susum oi. All right. What do you have to say? Oh, the same thing. Let's see. Uh... Hey there. Hey there. You must be Bobo. I've heard just so much about you. I'm Gerald, the island's leader. A little freaky looking. I lived here a long time. I've been present at many rituals. One every 50 years. <laughs> How wonderful that your visit to our little island came on the day of a ritual. The stars really aligned. I'm so glad we have a sacrifice and such a friendly, helpful one at that. Oh, nobody explained. Well, you see, this island is special. It's a boundary point. Deep below the ground, an ancient horror slumbers. If it were ever to rise, we'd all die. So to keep it sealed, we complete a ritual of sacrifice every 50 years. Oh, it's such a joyous day when we protect the world at the cost of just a single life. Of course, this time, the cost is your life. You're so lucky the faith chose you. We just need you to hop in that little hole in the middle of the room and then the world will be safe. What's that? You don't want to die? Lucky for us, you have no way out, even if you could get to the boat. You don't have a propeller, Bubbo. Okay, I'll give you the propeller core. It's in the hole. Just hop in and get it. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if I can grab it. It's in the hole. Just get it. <laughs> Time to go into the butthole. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? Oh, they were backwards? I didn't even consider that. 
You must sacrifice yourself. The ritual must commence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so... S both of you guys are so smart. <laughs> the voice sounds are very bubbly. Okay, let's see. Well, what do you think, guys? Oh, it's me, Noter. You're in great danger. However, one thing can save you. you are now got the full propeller. This gives you a wonderful power. It allows you to jump a second time when you're, when you're in the air. Use it now to escape. Make sure you hold down jump to go high enough to escape the pit. Press jump in. Three, two, one. Nice. I want to talk to him and see if that changes anything. Don't do this. Don't doom the world. Please sacrifice yourself. The ritual must commence. Oh, they just say the same thing. Okay, so I guess we could just kind of leave. Nice. <laughs> do a flip. Yeah, I'd love to. But then the voice sounds are so bubbly. Okay. Oh, okay. This isn't good. Do what Noter asked to say. <laughs> you have to get the boat to escape. The ancient horror is rising. You've made Gerald angry. I'll try to bring you back here to sacrifice yourself. If it catches you, Gerald is powerful with magic and it can fly and teleport if, if you let it get close. It'll swoop at you. Be careful, friend. Good luck. Um. So, like, as soon as I start going, is that the idea? Like, he'll start following me? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, things are different now. All right. Oh. Have to get good, guys. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm so bad at video games. How did I... Oh, my God! We did it. <laughs> I think he's following me. Oh, look at him go. All right, I'm focused. Sorry, I'm, tr I'm trying to shit talk, but. Come on, baby. Oof. Oof. Sugar. This is hard. Oh, it starts with the beginning. If he touches you, that's so fucked up. Oh my god. Satsujin, how's it going? This game is stressful. Is it, is it horror exactly? Not exactly. It kind of feels more... It's still kind of cute. But... It's very charming. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I made it. Fuck you, Alex Dalliance! Okay, we're gonna keep going here. Yes, this is my element, Satsu. How are you doing? Up! Oh. Sugar. What's new, Satsu? I'm sorry, I want to keep chatting, but the game's really stressful, actually. Horrific? Maybe not, but... Oh, come on, you little... You little Baldi's Basics ripoff. <laughs> George. That's hilarious. Thank God you're here, George. So this is like a Super Mario 64 inspired game that's a horror game disguised as like a cute game is the only way I know how to describe it. Ugh, I double step. I dodged, Ooh, come on baby. Oh, daddy's got jukes. Oh my God, I did it. We're over on the other side. I will walk if I have to. 
Wait, how do we get out of here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the rage. The rage! Oh, okay. All right. More, more alcohol. Okay, breathe. Okay. I'm doing great. I, I, this game is stressful. <laughs> Actually, I would say this game is, compared to anything else I've played, very rage-inducing. In me, anyways. However, um... Wow, I have 482 coins. I wasn't even really paying attention. I wonder what ha... I wonder what happens if you get every coin. I wonder if I go this way, what happens? Whoa. Oh, man. Ugh. I apologize. <sighs> Jump in the pit? Sorry, Chuck, what do you mean by... <sighs> he could just kind of snag you out of nowhere. Which pit are you talking about? Oh, come on, come on, Daddy. Use that fierce power. <laughs> I just realized how embarrassing it is that I have to coach myself through this verbally. <laughs> no. Come on, guys, we can do this. Get there. Oh my god. Okay, so I need some help though. Oh wait, maybe we can't go in the sewers. I think that... Okay, we're good, we're good. I think he can't go in the sewers. You're supposed to do this instead. Ooh, the rage. <laughs> the cold... Okay. Cracking my knuckles real quick. <laughs> the, the anxiety is real, Mickey, for sure. The bad guy's pit? Do you mean back in here, back in the way we came? I can't come back th through here, see? Um, I can see the Mario in this, makes it more interesting. Is this what you meant, Chuck? Oof. Okay. Let us <laughs> see if Daddy, if we can make it through here. <sighs> it's doable for sure. It's just you have to kind of like, it's so, it's so crazy like, uh, how the, like, how easy it is to overshoot. What if I just go this way? I don't even think the way I'm going is probably the easiest way to go, but it's just because the guy's following me and whatever i just feel like the most comfortable just like attempting the same thing again and again so that i can oh, i almost didn't make it you really there is a momentum mechanic F fuck you alex dalliance mm. Dollar Store Cthulhu. I think this is a really cute game. That's not cute. That's fucked up. You know what I will say? The, the overall, even though the physics are kind of janky, I think that's the point. All right, I gotta figure out how to, uh, maybe I, I need to keep the camera more flat because one of the things that keeps happening to me is where he just runs directly into me. I'm not really sure. Gotta keep the camera more, yeah. Oh, he can just spawn and smoke your shit just like that. <laughs> when you're in the middle of a jump, how am I supposed to? How? <laughs> Oof. Okay. Luckily you guys are used to me 
failing at games, so I feel a little less emotional pressure than I did in Dead Space, where I'm just getting trolled by that butthole monster for... forever. <sighs> well... Oh, yeah. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm running around the building once. Oof. <laughs> I know, seriously. He's the worst, Mickey. Okay. We're gonna just try not to get teleport jumped. I, I guess you just need a very small... Zen it out. He's gonna teleport in a split second here. He just teleports randomly, doesn't he? Mm. Mm. Just gonna make sad frog noises. Mm. <laughs> the ohms really help me with my uh, stress levels. Come on, make it, Bobbo! Another thing is... <sighs> Just trying to fucking do the thing, guys. I might be taking a very stupid path. Actually, why don't we try going this way? Try going this way. Try going this way. <laughs> Alright. Back in it. Heads in the game. Let's do it. This is the, this is it. I'm not gonna let anything stop me this time, guys. Let's see if I go this way. I feel like staying up high has the advantage of giving you... I'm exploding inside. <laughs> uh, the little evil guy noise he makes sounds very theremin-ish. Yes, yes, it's very, uh... Okay, let's see if I run this way. If I can make it. You can. Stay away from me, fool. Nice. Nice. Okay, do a little bob and weave here. So wasn't it over here where I was supposed to go, I thought? I love actually how the map is kind of the same, but kind of different too. Like they reconfigured it so that... Hmm. I don't know if this path is any better. Come on. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Bobbo. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're still fine. I just can't see because... <laughs> Woo Woo oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I promise you guys I could do this. I mean, it's definitely doable. It's 100% doable. I mean, it, it's not... There's something about, like, the problem is, is your temptation is to kind of go, like, straight ahead, like, just power through it. But you kind of need to in involve a little bit of, uh, chaos. But it's really hard to, like, do anything about that when he just shows up. And makes that sound. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take a sip of some drank soon. I haven't even heard the tambourine, Jackie. That's how focused I am. <laughs> that was not very close to the sound he makes, but... Nope. Don't you even try that shit with me. You fool. Okay, so I could go to the left there. I wonder what the... Uh, 
I'm like a big monster and I cannot lie. All you other brothers can't deny. When the girl walks in with her itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Come on, Alex Talents. You defeated alien isolation on nightmare mode. You defeated the butthole in dead space. Nobody can. <laughs> Nothing can stop you. And you know another bubble couldn't handle this Checking that thing like who's this With the look in her eyes so devilish Oh, thing with the hip hop bop Move to the grooves and connect the dots to Something or another Cause she was living la vida loca She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck Thighs like what, what, what Baby move your butt, butt, butt Wanna say it again She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck Thighs like what, what all night long Let me see that thong Baby That thong, that thong, thong, thong Love when your booty go Yeah, when the booty show oh, oh, oh. That thong, that thong, thong, thong Just trying to stay stress-free, guys, I'm sorry It's the only songs I can think of the lyrics to right now <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm someplace else right now. <laughs> spiritually. Like, physically I'm here, but spiritually I'm gone. <laughs> Oof. I actually found it to be quite stress relieving. I finished my beer. Now it is time to drink some acai berry decaf tea. I think you're right. I think you're right, George. I think one of the things that's hard about this game too is the way it like, the fact that he resets you like he does is so like, makes you want to try again immediately. But you're right. I think I need to be a little bit smarter about how I go about the path. Like, I don't even need to fuck with those blocks there. You can actually make that jump. And then this jump, I believe you could... <sighs> it's okay. Everything's okay, Alex. But yeah, I've been... Mm, I went to scratch my mustache, or move my mustache hairs that were getting in my mouth out of my way. Oh, I'm just grateful that you guys uh, <laughs> have grown used to watching mm, watching me uh, fail at video games and still find the content worth. Oh, see, I got short hop there. That's what I was talking about, where you can just get uh, without any sort of with without really any indication. For some reason, you just get short hopped. I was not expecting this game to be like this at all. I thought it was just gonna like start off kind of Super Mario 64 and then there'd be some jump scares and then, you know. So what, I, what am I supposed to do this way? Like what's, oh, go up here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, we need new raunchy songs for me to sing so I can stay stress-free because that, that'll that help, actually. <laughs> I got short-hopped. Hashtag short-hopped. I don't... I You know, sometimes I'll go back and I'll re-watch the videos that we've... We, like, the, <laughs> uh, the videos... <laughs> the live streams. I will go back and re-watch them. Today I don't I can't 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be too embarrassed to go back and hear all the sounds I'm making. Is one seriously perverted bitch. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you for the six dollar and sixty six cent donation. I really appreciate you. That was bullshit. Not your tip. The the crap that Gerald just pulled. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate you helping support the stream and the moral support. Moral support of feeling the love while I'm I'm going through this. Ride by Sir Mix a lot. I don't know the lyrics off the top of my head, unfortunately. Um, yeah. All right. I see the chat is going. Let me see if I can. Oh, the bad touch. Yeah. One of the things was is I think that I have no idea what I'm doing here. I got checked. Yeah. It's almost kind of good, though, when you get into the water. Well, I was about to say, because it kind of, like, throws them off. <sighs> Short hopped. Got a rob. <laughs> I was supposed to say thong -sum. Oh, the, uh, the tip says, you beautiful lunatic. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, come on. Let's do this. We can do it, guys. I have faith. We've made it through much worse. Although one of the... <laughs> one of these years it would be great if I could... Yeah, I don't even care. That one was such a wonky one. Okay. One thing. Don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to yeah. rhyme himself. <laughs> Got so far. <laughs> you wouldn't even recognize me anymore. Not that you knew me back then, but it all comes back to me in the end. And though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time I got so far. Got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I don't know which way I'm going right now. Where am I supposed to? It doesn't even matter. It's actually extremely difficult to remember the lyrics to songs while I'm doing this. Ooh, come on! Daddy, you have conquered so much. So much. Two live crew. I, I, like, I'd love to sing the lyrics to uh, Push It by Salt and Pepper, but... I can't even remember them right now, and I know I know the lyrics, but like, it's just so... the stress is just eating at my soul. I... I don't know if for other people, if this would be considered a precision platformer. Because I'm terrible at video games, so it might just be that, but... His... the... The reach that he has when he wants to get you is crazy. Like, I kind of feel like each time, like, he's he's way above my head or something like that. I guess it's really more, like, horizontal access than it is vertical access. Mm. No worries. If you get lost, the demon crossing guard will take you back to the start. It's jank AF, mighty. I mean, I think it is the... What? The robbery. Just robbed. I hate Gerald. Okay. Is anybody else losing faith? 
<laughs> is anybody else like because i'm not gonna fucking stop i'll be here for the next 16 fucking hours if i have to be <laughs> I wonder if the way the game's designed to work, it's like, you just need to know that as soon as you see him coming, just abort mission, go some other direction. Like, just go left or right. I think that's the new strategy. Like, I need to just get good at that. How do I get up there? Oh, I can just jump up there, can't I? That could be, George. Oh, Satsu, I appreciate the, the, the faith. I love that Satsu is the only one of you guys who believes. I see how it is, guys. I mean, I honestly don't blame you because, like, let's be real with my track record, right? Not exactly. I haven't exactly made it where easy for you guys to have faith. I don't know. I feel like this path is really good. Oh. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting this stream to go this way. But I guess life... When life gives you lemons... You gotta... Juice them. You gotta make them squirt. The trick in life. You can make it squirt. You can make anything happen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Implied faith. Nikki has no faith. <laughs> Nikki's just yeah. not responding to this part of the of, <laughs> of me saying stuff. She's like, nope. There's no way. Yeah. It's like I love you, Dad, but this is not your moment. This is not your year. <laughs> that was close. They give you just enough irregularity to how he... Is this the furthest we've gotten? Come on. Come on, baby. I feel like if you can skip the blocks, that's a lot of the times kind of helpful. Oh, it sounds like he's going away. I'm not going to jump. thought it was so cringy when people had like nerdgasms like that playing video games but that punished my asshole so hard holy shit oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being a dweeb oh my god smash them like the brains of your enemies hell yeah Emily oh my god we did it, guys. We did it. Okay. Fuck this game. <laughs> Although, I loved it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it actually was... I think it was a great... Uh, a great thing. Let me see if I... Do it from here. Come on, baby. Yeah, come on. Oh, wait, wait. No, that's not it. Oh, I see what I did wrong here. Let's do this. There we go. All right. This game is quite a bit louder. <sighs> that asshole raw. That's correct. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just going through the unclenching process now. I love the sound effects. I barely remember last night, but I guess I lost my wedding ring in the lake. 
Wife says, don't come back until you find it. Feel like Earl should have this voice. Probably in some fish's butthole by now. Well, at least I got an excuse to do some fishing. <laughs> Hell of a way to spend my day off. <laughs> okay, Wasad. Aim. Mouse's aim and cast. Left click. Chain. Charge cast. Cast lure. Real in lure. Okay. Oh, you can see a little fish down there. You guys see that to the just to the underneath his fishing pole? Oh, thank you. Big. Whoa. Let's see here. So if I go. Oh, I gotta I gotta aim ahead of time. Sugar. Okay, let's reel this in. <laughs> hey, a fish! We gotta look directly at where we wanna go. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna wake you up, bitch. What's up, bass? What are you thinking? You trying to suck? What's up, bro? You look... Come on, baby. You're thinking about it. Look at this shitty hat. 2D fucking... I love it, though. Like, that's... Come on! <laughs> yeah. Earl looks like he's had a meth accident, perhaps. Can you... Oh! I caught a little fish. Just a whelp. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't... Yo, don't read it like you're a hick from Oklahoma. There can only be one of us. Right, because you... Emily, you definitely sound like this <laughs> when you're talking. <laughs> Alright, let's try for the big boy again. Dude, Ocarina of Time Fish... I mean, that's actually, to be honest, that's why I wanted to try this game. It's because I loved Ocarina of Time Fishing. Come on, you fat fuck. Get in there. What is wrong with you? Are you are you full? Have you just eaten too much? What if I just <laughs> Oh! That that worked! Maybe I was pulling it away from him. That's a good fish right there. <laughs> okay, we got a fish over here. Let's see what happens if I keep going. Like a little spooky house in the distance. I'm sorry guys, I'm just a slut for shit like this. I mean look at these like little cheesy swamp grass. I don't know, it reminds me of the original Deer Hunter game. Did any of you guys play that in like 94? Get you drunk enough around some hicks? I can't, I did not realize that was the thing, Emily, and now I have a new mission in life, which is to get you drunk around hicks. He's a burr kind of guy. Alright. That's a kind of a big fish. Why don't we, uh, well, let's keep looking. I feel like there's gonna be deeper fish down. Just, yeah, it is just winding waters. All right, oh, oh, there we go. Look at how, like, great that square-ass fish. This fish doesn't move like the rest. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Better wrap this up before it gets too dark. Hey, a key! Wonder if I can get that. I think I'm a little off. Sod farm, steal a- I don't even know what a sod farm is, Emily. It's like a random ass bonfire. Sod farm- is that like where they grow grass? Is that your life? <laughs> Stealing? This is weird, like if I like smash the right mouse button, it's letting me kind of like glitchily reset. Bishop that quit the church after falling in love with a satanic erotica writer. Well, I mean, let's be honest. If you've been living your life in the church the whole time, that satanic shit gets to you. Got to me. Uh. Oh, come on. Okay, so I gotta be closer, I guess. Fertilizer? Isn't that how you get a fucking bomb, Emily? How have you lived this long? Jesus Christ. Let's see if this works. It sounds like Oklahoma is a horror simulator. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. You guys got any idea? Come 
come to daddy. Let's try this way. Okay, let's... We gotta get a little bit more this way. Oh, whoopsie daisy. That looks goodish. Meth. Anybody know where I could get some of that redneck rocket fuel? I love that phrase for meth. Uh, okay, let's turn and go this way. The simulation is real. I would love to see why you're so rotten, Emily. I wish I could, like, kind of, like, you know how in the fishing games you can sort of jerk it side to side? I just said jerk it. <laughs> just jump in there, Earl. Damn it. God damn it, Earl. Just get your ass in the water and get the... Get the shit. Do I need to catch more fish? Is it not letting me get it? Because because it's, like, floating above it. You see that? Maybe I gotta catch another fish. What do you think? I don't really want to go to Oklahoma, but if I had to go to Oklahoma, it would be with you, Emily, that's for sure. I would want you to show me all the best fertilizer farms to break into. Alright, let's see if we can get somebody to pay the fuck attention. Hmm. This didn't work out well. Come on, I'm right over the top of this big boy, but he swimming away. Come on. Notice me, big daddy. Come on. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> Missing out, my guy. It's not often that I meet a person with buoyancy problems. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's go this way. Museum by the guy who really likes skeletons. Do you know about this, Emily? I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here. Alright, come on, Bubba. Get your flaky ass. Come on. Come on, I wanna I wanna eat you. I wanna get in. Yes! Yes! Something's wrong with this fish. Maybe it's sick. <laughs> Maybe I needed to catch another fish? What do you think, guys? Museum? I, I need an elaboration about a museum built by the guy who really loves skeletons. What are we talking about here? Oh, I see. If it's, like, close to the surface, you can... That seems like it's gonna... <laughs> I will say the ambiance of this game is so appreciated, like where it's just some sort of like... River noises and stuff. Maybe it got sick from swimming around in meth-infested waters, Earl. What do you think about that? I wonder if I'm... what I'm missing here. Alright, pay attention. Pay attention. Oops. That was weird. Just sort of glitched out. Just a nipple to high, maybe another fish? Hey, what's up, John? How's it going? Alright, we're, uh, we're, we're fishing for some bass. You probably know about that. Come on, yes! I love how it's just like a like a two by four fish. This fish eyes look familiar somehow. I can't look away. I heard a splash nearby. Maybe like something heavy just fell into the water. Wait, what does that mean? He's still there.
Museum of Osteology. Some dude just has a huge collection of skeletons from different animals that he's put into a warehouse and turned into a museum. Well, now I do have to fucking go to Oklahoma. That sounds awesome. Or Gilcrease with all of the native scalping tools? What? Are, what? Are, <laughs> Emily, do you have any native scalping tools since you're Native American? Been following you on my ride home. Wagner County. Lots of dead animals. That's the fish he fucked up a couple of days ago while he was drunk. <laughs> like, I think his life has just been going across the world, killing animals you've never heard of, and bringing their bones back for display. This is intense. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Maybe I do have to catch all the fish, because it's like floating above them, so try to... I think the strategy is sort of drive like right over the fish. That last game was fucking cancer, but I do feel a sense of accomplishment that we got through it. <laughs> There's such a great anti-climax to when that fish grabs the bait. It just sort of, nice looking bass, tell you what. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's any more fish in here. Ooh, maybe that's the heavy thing I'm supposed to get. Try to kill two birds with one stone here. Oh, sometimes it just glitches out like that. Huh. All right, come on. Come to, come to, come to Bubba. Come to Earl. Maybe, okay, so whatever that thing is. Yeah, now you're going way deeper. Is that how that works? Nico, my resident Oklahoman, says it's Cleveland County, like Norman area. I wasn't driving, so I have no idea where it was. Some good piece of ass for the night. <laughs> no, I don't have any scalping tools. You know, I did, I know what you're talking about. Oh shit, that's right next to my dad in Edmond. Did you see that last key you missed a couple of casts ago? Yeah, there's that key. I was trying to get it, John, um, but I'm having trouble. Oh, that fish is like glitched into the fucking... Oh, no, wait, that wasn't... <laughs> I thought it was glitched in. Nope, no ring here either. Oh, interesting. I'm just trying to get the... I'm trying to get whatever this is. Okay, maybe I have to... Uh, oh, is that what it is? I don't know, it feels pretty deep, George. But yeah, you might be right. Come on. Yes! Okay, so we finally caught something that's not a fish. You caught a large lump of flesh? <laughs> oh, oh. This thing's pretty heavy. Better let my lure sink even deeper. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is how this works. Yeah, you have to catch all the fish, maybe. Well, let's go. Uh... This is a big boy right here. I want to catch him just for sake of pride. It's a fat man. Come on, baby. Get you some of that. That ass. Yes. <laughs> That'll be some good eating. Just got to get as much flesh as you can. Oh, God, Emily, 4 a.m. God bless you, Emily Ellsworth. I hope you have a wonderful night. And by God, I meant Satan. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so I bet we can get the key now. I thought it was just like maybe the game file I got was glitched or something. Hmm. Really been getting into the decaf teas re recently. They're great for having on stream because they're, they're soothing. Y'all know I need to get soothed. Let's see if this works. Yeah, get some rest, you hard working bitch. Come on. Yes, we got the key. Yes! You caught a key. Ah, the key to the gate. Must have dropped this along with the ring. 
So if I go over here, what can I get through? Yes. We got some Tim Burton trees up here. Could have sworn I left that gate open. Let's go get this fish real quick. I'm back, bitches. How's it going, Tiff? This game is so nice after the last game. Come on, get it. Snack. Come on. It, the best strategy seems to be just letting it sit on the ocean floor or the river floor. You need better pockets, man. Trader Joe's has a pomegranate white tea. Ooh, sounds good. I thought I saw the fish, like, glitch in the air. Let's get you, too. Just for the fuck of it. Then by a large lump of flesh in his pond, yeah. Oh, you got a promotion. That's awesome. Ah, that, that fish was hungry. That fish did not have any chance... Still no ring. I must have gone further into the lake. Well, there's another key, so we can start with that, maybe. I don't know if you have to catch liter like, literally every fish. I like that you can kind of quick cancel the... Get the angle right. Yes, congratulations, John. That is awesome. Promotions don't come that often. Mostly in life you just get fucked. So anytime that you get to do the fucking and get a promotion, that's great. I love that for you. Just caught a key. I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> I love Earl so much. Doing er Earl's another gate. Was that always here? I just feel like Earl's vibe is so... What? Did you just see that? Do you, can you see that? Oh my god. The fish died in my hands. Did something taint the water? Dude! So far the office has been a complete mess, but I'm working on getting that shit set up so things run like buttercream. Alex is bonding with good old Earl. Always coming. John always comes. Love that. Uh, okay, so there's a fucking corpse. Oh, it's not there anymore! Holy shit. Everything's fine. What's interesting is, like, I guess Earl himself can't see that. Oh, that's really done. This part of the lake is huge. The ring probably sank to the deepest parts. So I guess we gotta, we gotta catch some fish. So let's do that. Just a whelp, a meaningless speck in the vastness of the lake. Just like us. <laughs> so to my left, there was one that was higher up. Like, it wasn't so deep. So I think I'm going to go for him. Yeah, that was really creepy. Not me thinking it was a frog. <laughs> oh, too short. Come on. Come on, Earl. Come on. You piece of cardboard. We love you, dude. Welcome to the scum family. God, bit me! This fish has a mouth full of teeth. Don't all fish have teeth? Basically. I think I heard a splash nearby, like something heavy just fell into the water. Okay, so maybe we're looking for another mound of flesh? I'm gonna catch this fish, though, because he seems real easy. Come on. Yeah! No ring. Do fish even eat rings? Am I wasting my time? I love Earl so much. This Oklahoma man after Emily Ellsworth's own heart. This guy looks pretty easy to catch too, so why don't we get him while we're here? 
Just in case anybody uh, missed it at the er beginning of the stream, we have new t-shirts that say, we'll do bad things for pumpkin spice. We have, yeah, see the fish is glitched out, just like stuck here. I love it. <laughs> um, we'll do bad things for pumpkin spice and they come in men's, women's, and Razorback tees. Now a lot of the sluts have been wanting those Razorback tees, so I finally got it. Okay, there's a, a key, but I have a feeling it's way too deep for me to get it. So why don't we try catching a couple more of these shallow boys. Good old Earl Grey. <laughs> well, I thought this guy was going to be easy, but he sort of, he juked me. Oh, this fish is coming. Oh! Finally, another normal fish. I've lost my appetite for fish by now. All right. Uh, oh, there, here's the dude. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Notice me, senpai. Sugar. It's kind of more this way now. Mound of flesh is a game mechanic. Yeah, exactly. Come on! You can do this. <sighs> Come on. Yes! Unless you guys think there's like another mound of flesh. This fat fish cowers away from me. It has seen something in the lake. Do you think like I need to find another? Maybe I do need more flesh or something. It sounded like something was in my room with me there for a second. Freaked me out, man. I'm getting a little freaked out. Little scared ass daddy. Y'all love a good scared ass daddy. They're always coming. I do want the key, but I don't think my lure will go deep enough, Annie. That's what I'm currently struggling with. So I'm waiting to... I think it works, but you have to catch enough... Yeah, he said there was some heavy stuff in the water. Yeah, I think you're right, George. Oh, come on. So this is actually a demo for a game... Oh, there it is! There's the mound! You guys were right. I love it. Um... This is actually a demo for the full game. They want to make, like, a full game out of this, and so far, if the game's like this... Oh, man, I got the weird glitchy... If the game's like this, like... I'd probably... I'd buy the whole game. Badass daddy. Spoiler, at the very end, it... The Manos that has a ring, yeah. Am I actually getting close enough to it? I can't tell. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know this game, Nikki? Oh, I think I just missed it. I think I need to be further to the right. Come on, I'm so close. It's bending around, the, the string is bending around it, I think. Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that one guy. Okay, so we'll turn a little this way, back a little up. I don't know. Hard to say. Oh, that, man, that was a perfect shot. That was awesome. Craven played it. You caught a large lump of flesh. That's neat. Yeah, I, I totally missed it, Nikki. This thing's pretty heavy. Better let my lure sink even deeper. 
So I wonder if catching the fish actually does anything now, other than gives you, like, interesting flavor text. Let me get a little taste of some of that flesh. All right, where was the key? The area is so big, it's hard to see. Ah, there it is. Something like around here? Daddy Earl is looking for the key so I can get my wife to sleep with me again. So tired of jerking it in the closet when she's not looking. Darn it! Okay, slightly to the left. Yes, I think you. I think that's the mechanic, George. I think you've nailed it. Uh, I said slightly to the left, right? So like, just like that, maybe. I'll go a little further out too. I don't know if this is as satisfying for you guys as it is for me, but I'm having a great time <laughs> bass fishing. Oh, I didn't throw far enough. Interesting. Um, especially just because, like, that last game was so stressful or, like, rage-inducing that just the nice nature ambiance is, like, doing so much good for my blood pressure. I feel like I need to be to the right now. Game's definitely wonky. Here we go. Maybe a little too far right. A little too far right. We gotta adjust very gently. But yeah, I'm loving it. I think... I think I am using the flesh, because that's what's causing the, the lure to go further. Okay, so what is this? I need to go a little further left, even more left. Right, I'm trying to see if I can catch it, but I think I'm too... Yeah, I'm just off. This looks good. This looks like a pretty good angle. Oh, maybe I'm a little too far to the left. God damn it. Don't do this game. Motherfucker. Welcome back, Greg. I'm always using the flesh. Gotta be real fucking finicky with it. Always bait the flesh. Daddy loves the flesh. If this isn't spot the fuck on, I'm gonna throw a fucking temper tantrum. Don't do it. It's kind of hard because the camera angle to like perceive like how close or far away I am from it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. You bitch. You Fuck you, Alex Dallas. You think I'm too over the key? You think I need to back up? And then what I need to be slightly right? We do need a brat tamer. Oh, you think you. Oh, never mind. It's weird because it seems like it pulls to the. Okay, so I nudged right. But, like, as you pull, the string sort of lean goes to, the, from my perspective right now, to the right. God, if this doesn't work. Yes! 
Oh my god. Apparently Sunday, I'm coming to the workout. Awesome. Well, Sundays are a good day to come to the workouts because those are the less extreme ones. You caught a key. This key unlocks the last gate of the lake, but why would I have gone back there? I don't know, Whirl. Plus, we always do it just, you know, whatever you can do. That's the only thing that matters. Doesn't matter if you can do one round or ten. As long as you show up, that's the big thing. Although you already do a lot of workouts, Taekwondo and stuff like that, so... Am I going back the way I came, or am I going the right way? I can't tell if I went... Nowhere left to go but down. I guess, we, yeah, we're in a new area. Let's see what's down here. Oh, there's something. There's something. <gasps> it's the ring! But it's on a hand. Wow, did I, like, get a pretty good... Oh, my... oh, yes, we did it! Oh, that was awesome. Flirting with disaster. I'm a simple kind of man. Is this my wife's hand? I need to get back to the house. Now. Oh, I gotta back this boat up. All right, there we go. We're going. I am a little shit myself right now. I can't believe that was Barbara's hand down there. Looked like it'd been down there for years. Looks handy. <laughs> Huge fucking hand, Earl. Yeah, it's like a monster hand. Earl. Oh my god, there it is. It's Mickey's frog. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, I loved it. Airdorf and Torple... Torplador. Wow. <laughs> e to exit this fishy, fishy situation. Oh wait, I want to get out of this game. Wait, I don't... I, I know, I'm trying to get out. Ah. Come on. Alright, we got a little bit of nature ambiance for a second here. Yeah, man, that was a that was like perfect timing too. We got the two games knocked out. That was wonderful. I'm just trying to. It's like playing the intro cutscene. It's a swamp frog monster that's chasing you around. I guess something like that. Hell of a way to spend my day off. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. Uh, let me out of the game. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So real quick, one more time, guys. We've got the we'll do bad things for pumpkin spice shirts. We've got ladies' tees. They're all in different colors, too. I just picked some colors for the examples. And we have the Racerbacks. And the way to buy these are go to this link. that will pop up in a split second here. And if you go to the link, let me stand over here. If you go to the link that's going to pop up in chat in a second, you can get all of the Vulture Culture merch there. I appreciate it because it helps me keep this channel going uh, and not have to take a day of work on Wednesdays but instead hang out with you guys and keep hopefully providing good content. Before I go real quick, what do you guys think about doing more streams like this where we do shorter horror game type stuff? I really like doing this type of thing but I also felt like people for a while were kind of more into me doing the longer games so it's, it's really up to you as always. I uh, encourage you guys to give me feedback. Um, yeah, that is actually kind of weird. It wasn't missing a hand. It was like Earl's... There's a corpse, and then there was Earl's wife's hand. And there's really no explanation. Because, yeah, at first, in a way, it would have made, made more sense if the corpse was missing a hand, right? Because then you'd know that that was his wife. But the hand... His wife's hand was huge, even compared to the, the frog corpse's thing. I don't know. I love random horror games. That's for me a lot of fun. But, you know, I always want to make sure that whatever we do is uh, fun for you guys. I love uh, Skyward Sword. It's a lot of fun. But there's an element of it where I'm like, wow, this game, it's a long game. And I'm like, I could be playing that game for like the next year. So I feel like I need to kind of spice it up. 
long game every once in a while here and then doing fillers with these rando indie things. I agree. Um, as much as I love Skyward Sword, I almost feel like it's just a little, for, for my format. Now, you guys should all go follow Jackie Daggers over on Twitch. She plays Skyward Sword as well, but she's on Twitch a lot more than I am on YouTube. So that's a great uh, scum family member to support by watching her streams. Um, and, and you can do that without, you know, with without, uh, what am I trying to say? Like when you're not here, there's that content. And because she's on more, she can make more progress each time or over, over every week, make more progress. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard sometimes. Her hand was swollen from water decomp. Yeah, I think so. That's probably it. Or maybe she, maybe his wife is a frost giant. That could be the thing too. RE4, yeah, there was a lot of people who wanted me to play RE7 a few months ago. Yeah, fuck yeah, Jackie. Don't try bringing science into this, Nikki. Uh, yeah, well, there's only so much you can comment about one specific game without reiterating the same thing over and over. So the variety content is good. Cool. Yeah, well, we shall see. I know Emily's been uh, bugging me to get on the channel, so maybe we'll do something with her soon. That would be a lot of fun. I kind of want to just play Mario Kart with her or something. She wants to play Pokemon Snap. I don't know. Jackie, you played Pokemon Snap over on your channel. Is that like a two-player game? Or is that that Oklahoma woman just trying to get me to steal fertilizer out of a factory with her? I don't know. I feel, I feel like Emily's just got some... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Love Emily to death, but we shall see. Maybe I should, I don't know. <laughs> I feel awkward now, like like, like when she watches this later. I think what it is, I'm afraid of Emily. She's such a fucking fire starter. I've watched that bitch rip into guys like I'm like, uh. Mario Kart sounds like fun though. It isn't, but it's so much fun. Two-person safari sounds really enjoyable. I feel like, I don't know. I don't, I, 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 oh. I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta be able to words to, if I wanna be on the internet. Um, I almost would kind of feel like I'd let her play the game and me just be here to hang out. Cause I'd almost, you know, I think just as a change of pace. I think a lot of the times it would be fun if we did a one player game where I'm playing, but someone who knows the game really well. Like I talked to you about that, Jackie, about playing the Metroid Prime games maybe, um, and having you kind of coach me through it. But for something like that, I mean, I don't really know that there's a whole lot of benefit for me, like actually being playing it unless she's like a master. Yeah, I've offended every Oklahoma person, which you know what, honestly, if you're watching this video right now and you're from Oklahoma, Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. I got Florida. Florida's fucked up enough. I don't need Oklahoma fans. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys. Uh, please consider purchasing a shirt or some of the other things that I have. We have the One Seriously Perverted Bitch coffee mugs. That's a perennial favorite. It was the first piece of merch I did. Um... The Castlevanias. Uh, I'm honestly not that much interest right now. Just, but I, I always leave it up to you guys, and then maybe like throw a little bit of my own thing in there. If I was gonna go back to like the Castlevanias, I still really want to play Silent Hill Three. That would be kind of my own personal like. I've got a boner to play that game, and I kind of want to play like the original Resident Evil Two, like just the original Resident Evil, especially before I play. Uh, Resident Evil 7 or Village or any of that. Uh, to me, that's more interesting. And again, I kind of like the retro horror style a little bit more anyways. I'm, I, it's just kind of my my, uh, my my nostalgia, I suppose. But also just like, I kind of like playing a game that's, you know, kind of takes you to a different time. The, the more modern stuff I think is great for the vast majority of people and I'm sure it's wonderful but for me I feel like I enjoy the stuff that's a little bit more like quirky weird and stuff so I don't know um yeah and also aren't the Castlevanias like super hard John um I would want to do the original Ari. I'm talking about like the PlayStation one actually there's a GameCube remake of Resident Evil as well, which I think a lot of people don't know because they're so wrapped up in the newest Resident Evil remake. But there's actually was another one for the GameCube that looks insanely good, like insanely gorgeous. 
so I wouldn't mind playing that. Um, but, you know, I mean, again, things could change, if, you know, really, I, mean, this is, I don't know. When you think of how much I've spent on synthesizers and lights, what's a fucking PS5? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, they're reasonable? Okay. Weren't, uh, what, was it Super Nintendo, or was that already, like, a sequel to the original Castlevania? Castlevania. Castlevania. Challenging, but pretty fun. I struggled with Metroid, the Super Metroid. That game fucking destroyed me. Like, that, that's the only game I've, like, quit. Like, just, I'm not up to the challenge. Michael Morrison was like, you've got to read the manual before you play it. I didn't know that. But it kind of makes sense, actually. Because back then, you everybody read the manual when you got the game, right? Nowadays, it's, it's a different world. So... Most of the Castlevanias are platformers until semi recently where it went all 3D. I heard the European and Alex... The European Alex break out the proper pronunciation of Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of there. Um, I want a PS5 for Ghost of Tsushima. It's on PS4, but it's prettier on 5. Steam is a Castlevania anniversary correction for 20 bucks. If you wait for a sale, it's like 7 to 8. I think there's like 9 games in it. Holy shit. Does that include, like, the Super Nintendo game and stuff like that? Yeah, also, by the way, hello, Bucky. I don't know if I even said hi to you. Gotta appreciate a good old Bucky. What is Ghost of Tsushima about? I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that. Suzuma route, right? I'm only on like a third of the way through, lol. I'm off school for a month, so I'm playing it. Fuck yeah. I love that. It's amazing. Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Simon's Co Quest, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania, 4, Castlevania, The Adventure, Castlevania 2, Belmonts. Cool. Whoa, oh, it just keeps going. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. I mean, that's a lot of games for 20 bucks, even. Yeah, open world samurai game. You know, uh, I don't know what the time is. See, that's the problem. With, like, uh, Skyward Sword's like 40 hours of gameplay. I kind of think that, like, Isolation was six episodes, and I usually do about two and a half hours of gameplay on this channel per per night. So whatever that maths out to be, um, what would that be? 15 hours tops. But I actually think if it's even shorter would be better. Like, I kind of want to hit, like, stuff more in, like, the 10-hour range. Um, literally, I'd ride to a cliff just to look at the ocean in the game. It's gorgeous. Uh, uh, what I was going to say is Okami is a game that I played on the Wii. And I never finished it. And that would almost be something that I would go back and do, um, considering... And I think there's an HD version now, right? Um... But I don't know how long it is. I'd, and if it, even if it is like on the cusp, 15, 20 hours, I'd be a little nervous about it. If it was like eight or nine, I might jump in on that. Yeah. Just saw that you messaged me, Bucky. Thank you. Yeah. Really? What do you think the uh, the time is on Okami? That I you know I've kind of forgotten about that game, but to, that's like a beautiful samurai game that would be quite aesthetic to have on the stream. Wee bowling, dude! I'm down for wee bowling. Maybe that's what I should do with Emily. The only problem is I don't trust that crazy whore swinging a wee moat near these thousands and thousands of dollars worth of vintage synthesizers. That's the only problem. Um. 41 hours? Yep, that's just... I mean, yeah, 25, 30. Yeah, it's... I, uh, if it's... I, let me say it this way. My intuition is that it's just hard to keep the attention and the excitement going that long. That doesn't mean that it's... Like, if it's what you want, guys wanted me to do, I'd fucking do it. Um, but, you know, kind of the, the lesson I've learned from Skyward Sword is we're like six episodes in and we're in the beginning of the game. And it's just, you know, 
I think for all of us, it's kind of fun to have more variety and stuff and, you know, so. Okay, so what do, whose dick do I have to suck to get a Wii Bowling League going? Because I will make that happen. We'll have you all over <laughs> and we'll bowl the shit out of some, out of, out of the Wii. <laughs> I have a Wii. I still have it in a closet somewhere, I think. Oh, for sure, Jackie. I mean, and it's not impossible that I could stream more. Um, but the thing is, is that um, things like the new Vulture Culture record and the next Choose Your Own Adventure, which, by the way, guys, Friday is Scream Thy Name Betrayer's birthday. So I'm going to post about it on that, on that day. But anyways, um, th those types of creative projects where I actually create something that we can have on the channel, that's what I really like to do. So right now, I'm taking the extra day off I have of the week and focusing on that, trying to get that to happen. If I stream twice a week, I could get through a game faster, but ultimately I, I feel like it wouldn't really change too much. And I think a lot of us, I think we're in the habit of every Wednesday. I, I think it's good what we're doing right now, but I'm not, again, I'm not against whatever's going to work, I'm happy with. Um, we could, they're easy. I, I'm the king of matching shirts. I'm, I'm definitely in the shirt business now. That would be awesome, George. I love how many people are ready to be in a Wii Bowling League. We don't accept closets in this stream. What does that mean, Nikki? I'll try to go retro, but I also see games like Until Dawn and the Dark Anthology games. Yeah, I mean, there, there's... um Until Dawn, the problem with is... Uh, that game in particular, I'm just not as excited about because it's a choose-your-own-adventure, but it's like... I don't know, like, just... I definitely watched a Let's Play of some of it before, and I just... I, I didn't find it immediately captivating. Maybe it, maybe it's awesome, and I just didn't realize. I played the, them all, and I think there's a way of slowing down reaction so people can play on stream. I'm missing something, Nikki. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> Closets in the stream. X. Yes. I've played them all, and I think there's a way of slowing down reactions so people can play on stream. Man of Madonna is fucked, and Little Hope is pretty good, too. Yeah, I think Little Hope I've heard of. Well, anyways, we've been chatting for a bit here just about potential things. Uh, so I, I don't have next week's stream planned out yet. We'll see what happens. A couple of ideas. Oh, responding. Okay, I'll just... <laughs> I'll go with it, Nikki. So anyways, guys... I love you guys very much. This was a shitload of fun. I liked doing this stream, and I think I'm going to try to do more stuff like this. I love you guys very much. I hope you have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next Wednesday at 9. Thank you very much. And uh, sweet dreams.